How to write a conclusion for an essay. What is a conclusion? A conclusion refers to the final section of something, be it an essay, article, film, or event such as a conference. It allows the writer or creator to provide their last word on the topic of discussion and references the introduction and body of the content. This post will focus on an essay conclusion, which mainly seeks to persuade readers to adopt a certain viewpoint, as well as provide closure on any topics that were being discussed or researched. Why is a conclusion important in an essay? For one, a conclusion seeks to state why your research and points made matter and what they can contribute. This is especially important in a dissertation since you are supposed to contribute to your field of study by investigating a specific topic. However, a normal essay still requires a separate conclusion. A conclusion also offers context on the topic. It defines your audience and also tells them what to do in their capacity. For example, an essay on access to counseling psychology and psychiatric services by the general public is generally aimed at counselors, psychologists, psychiatrists, and public sector employees who can do something about the issue at hand. The solutions are also within their reach since they are trained experts on the topic. Even for essays aimed at non-experts, you can benefit from providing a call to action. For instance, in an essay about proper nutrition and how to achieve it in light of the many processed foods available nowadays, you can close by stating how the research proves that they can still access affordable food from local farmers and small shops. As such, we can say that it offers your last word on the topic and can impact how the reader views your subject. Experts who conduct research in their fields take this seriously, as it can promote institutional and cultural changes, thus solving societal issues. How do you write a conclusion? 1. Note down the major themes addressed in your work and the lessons learned from them. 2. Be sure to include a link to your introduction, thus allowing the reader to make connections to the text written. 3. State the lesson you wish the reader to learn. Some say that literature transports the reader to another realm, and your conclusion will transport them back to the real world while offering them a new perspective on a particular issue. 4. Additionally, be sure to restate your thesis statement to remind the reader of your stance on the issue. Your thesis statement is the sentence that states the main idea your essay will tackle. If you are having trouble with this and would like help on how to write a good conclusion for an essay, don't hesitate to place an order here and we will assist you promptly. What are the best tips for writing a conclusion? No writer is perfect. There is always something one can learn to help them improve their writing skills or help them explore new styles and structures. While the structure and details necessary in an essay's conclusion may be relatively straightforward, it is important to include certain tips that can enhance your writing. As such, we have compiled the following list of tips for a stellar conclusion. 1. Connect your points. While you may be tempted to write a summary of your previous paragraphs, be sure to show how all the points matter and influence each other. This synthesis allows you to draw everything together and shows that you have done adequate research and collected points that emphasize your thesis statement. A good way to do this would be to state that mental health is integral to a productive society. But that is not the case due to evidence showing that most crimes and homeless people can be attributed to mental illness. Then state how research proves that providing access to better mental health can be beneficial and the resources available that can assist. 2. Bring your reader full circle, this can be done by restating the theme and showing how it arises in real life. It also expands the reader's perspective and is a good way to state the causative factors of the issue at hand. As such, readers can gain a deeper understanding. An example is explaining that mental health is important and that mentally unwell people can negatively impact society as a whole, so everyone's mental health should be a public health priority. You can also state that it leads to a spike in crime, homelessness, and prostitution and show how access to mental health services helps the victims significantly improve their lives. 3. Provide solutions. Now that you have done your research and identified certain problems apply your knowledge to present possible solutions. These should be well thought out and practical, in addition to being specific to the party being addressed in the essay. For example, if your essay targets psychiatrists, and researches how they can increase their services to lower income individuals to improve the public's mental health offer a solution, like allowing underprivileged women free sessions. Since the research proves that women can contribute to better mental health outcomes in the family as they are the primary caregivers, hence they can influence the mental health of many. 4. 
address the implications of your research, research often unveils several influencing factors that one may not have considered. This leads to new implications that may affect the group concerned in the near future. Since society is affected by several internal and external factors, a particular decision can lead to what is known as the butterfly effect, where a small change can lead to large unforeseen consequences. For example, an essay about psychiatric care for the general public can note how it will lead to a decline in crime, and other social problems such as drug use. However, some do not understand that it may lead to unintended consequences, such as the belief that mental illness is caused by biological factors leading to a negative attitude towards mental health patients from the general public. It is worth noting that mental health issues can be caused by several factors, and overemphasis on one may when there are many issues is detrimental to patients who will not find the medical focus on biological triggers useful. Many students have trouble performing an in-depth analysis like this, but we offer them help at affordable rates, which you can request here. What should you avoid when writing a conclusion? Writing a conclusion may seem quite straightforward, but that is not always the case. Even if you employ our strategic tips, you may still fall victim to certain common errors. Hence you need to be aware of them. These can cost you points or throw off your essay slightly, so beware. As such, you should avoid the following, 1. Including referential material, the conclusion is the closing of your essay and no new information, such as statistics or quotes, is necessary. For this reason, you should not include references here as it may lead to new questions. 2. Pathos, do not use any emotional appeals, especially if it is an analytical essay. But rather focus on facts and evidence brought out in the previous parts of the paper. If your paper discusses or analyzes a historical figure or character, also avoid painting them as a hero or villain and simply state their deeds and the effect they had on their society. 3. Simply rephrase your thesis and the points made. Add to your thesis statement based on the data acquired from your research to prevent your conclusion from seeming like a rehashing of your thesis. You might also want to add extra information to reinforce your point, but it can just throw off your essay as the reader may want to know more, but the word count doesn't allow further explanation. 4. Clichés, overused phrases may bore your reader, as it seems unimaginative and as if you are following a structure. Instead, you could use terms such as in brief, in a nutshell, altogether, and to sum it up just to name a few. Using such phrases makes your essay look expertly written and thus can lead to a higher score, 5. Introducing new information, sometimes, you may want to reveal some information dramatically, so you save it for later in the essay. However, you should do this in the body paragraphs since the conclusion is limited by the word count. How long should a conclusion be? The general rule is that a conclusion should be about 10% of the total word count. As such, the length of a short five-page essay will not be equal to that of a dissertation. A short paragraph is enough for an essay, while a dissertation needs around three to five pages to properly sum up all the arguments made. What is an example of a good conclusion? Let's say we are writing an essay about why public access to counseling and psychiatric care is necessary for a better society. One can form the following conclusion based on the tips and structure mentioned in the previous sections. In summary, psychological and psychiatric care is vital for people who undergo traumatic events or are genetically at risk of being mentally unwell. It helps educate, thus increasing the likelihood of those being affected seeking proper treatment, and can reduce instances of social ills caused by mental illness. However, it remains out of reach to many, especially the poor, who lack access to many basic services such as food, shelter, education, and other necessary resources. Since they are underprivileged, they cannot access healthcare either, leading to many suffering from easily treatable conditions. As such, it is important to push for public health programs that can reach the masses and have the backing of governmental aid to ensure their continuity. In the future, this can lead to better health outcomes and lower rates of social ills but will result in higher taxes to finance the programs and a long rollout time to establish the necessary frameworks and ensure their efficiency. The above conclusion would be appropriate for a 1,500-word essay, but longer works such as thesis papers and dissertations would be pages long. This is because a thesis or dissertation's last chapter includes a summary of the findings, conclusions as per the hypothesis originally made, discussion, future research possibilities, and a closing word.